So how do I manifest getting everything I want? This is something that people ask me all the time. And I will tell you that it is a belief that I hold. It is an assumption. And I want you to pay attention to that word that I'm using right now. It is an assumption. It wasn't always that way though. I had to teach myself to believe in things to be able to have them. And so now I do hold a belief that anything that I write down, I will one day have. And now I even believe I don't even need to write it down and I will still one day have it. So where does this come from? This belief of getting everything I want and the knowing that I will get everything I want. The first thing is the clarity in knowing what I want. This is what I am very, very good at. I can tell you exactly what I want, how I want it, when I want it by, what I'm gonna feel like once I have it, and the overall purpose and understanding and the why behind the desire. And so I have had to teach myself how to want for something. Most of the people that I meet, they know they want more, but they just don't know what that is. And I hear this all the time. I know I want more, but I don't know what. This is where you've gotta learn about who you are and what you actually want. I did a keynote speech in front of a, a corporation, a company, you know, um, these are business professionals. And I asked them, how many of you have a goal? Like how many of you have a vision for what you want in your life? And I think I had like one person raise their hand saying, yeah, I know exactly what I want. Everybody else just kind of sat there looking at me like, well, I have my professional performance plan, you know, my professional development plan that you got to write for your job about like the pay raise you want or the KPI you want to meet or the next promotion that you want to go to. But nobody had a vision for the life that they want to have. And this is where I am different and where I help people to experience an elevated human experience. So I'm not gonna teach you to get clear on the specific one car that you want or one lump sum of money you desire. I wanna help you create an entire new life to desire an elevated experience and to help you to tap into what you actually want. And a lot of things are so interesting because when I started to first map out what I wanted for myself, when I started studying this material, I started writing out all the things I thought I should want. And this is where a lot of people do this. So a lot of people will write out, well, I should want to make this much money. I should want to live here. My kids would love this. So I'm going to put that on my list. And my spouse would probably want that. So I'm going to put that on the list. And we just create a list of wants and desires based on what we think we should want or what other people want. But the real work, the real inner work is actually learning about who you are and what do you actually love in life and what do you actually want for your human experience here right now in this iteration. I remember I had put down once uh, on my want list that I wanted to live in Florida. You know, I want to have a second property and I want to live in Florida. And I wrote it down and I was like, okay, I can see myself living in Florida. And I started looking at the houses and feeling the feeling of Florida. Okay, that sounds good. But it just wasn't fully resonating. And I sat down and I asked myself, why did you choose Florida, Kathleen? And the reason I chose it because it's easy, it's cheaper, my parents love it, my husband at the time loves it. And so I chose Florida, not for me, for other people for the easiness, for the lower taxes, like for it maybe happening faster, but it wasn't actually what I wanted. And then interestingly enough, not long after I had that realization, I went to California for the first time and I stayed in Malibu on the water on the Pacific Coast Highway for five days in a beautiful home on the water. And I knew this is where I wanna be. I wanna be in Malibu, California, not in Florida. I changed my desire, I changed my want. And it doesn't mean that nobody else in my life will ever want to be there. But I know that my connection to my want and desire, my ability to feel it, to desire it, to tap into it is what's going to make it happen. So I'm more likely to manifest what I actually want than manifesting what I think I should want 
or what somebody else wants. So becoming aware of yourself, knowing yourself, knowing what you love and why you love it. You know, I know the reason I love Malibu is because I love both ocean and canyons. I love the mountains and I love the ocean. And not just any mountains, I like the lush green mountains and the beautiful ocean. So I also love San Diego. I love Hawaii for that same reason. So I know what the want is and what the desire is. And therefore I allow myself to tap into that. So you need to be clear on what it is that you want. So the next step in phase then in gaining clarity about what you want is to go and experience things and know whether or not you align with it or not. So for example, you might see a car, like I used to think G-Wagons were ugly. I would see them and I'd be like, oh, those are hideous. They are just the ugliest car ever. I truly believed that. And I had no desire to ever own one, but I had never been next to one. I had never been in one and I had never allowed myself to energetically match to it until one day I went to the Mercedes dealership and we walked in and there was this beautiful white G-Wagon with a spotlight on it and I stood next to it and I felt the energy and the vibration of it and I was like, I love her. I want her. And then of course, as I go up to the car to open the car door to get inside, an alarm went off. And the woman says, oh, not anybody can get inside and see that. You have to ask for a sales associate. And I went, I'd like a sales associate, please. <laughs> like, I was like, yeah, I'm here, I'm available. I want this, I can have this, you know? So it allowed me to feel a certain type of way. I sat inside of it. I felt the feeling of getting up inside of it. And from that moment on, I knew I want a G-Wagon. So like before that, I didn't allow myself to get close enough to it, to experience it, to know whether or not I want it. And that's why test driving cars are so important. It, it is energetically how you feel driving it, how you feel in it. And now, you know, my G-Wagon, I think I ended up building my own G-Wagon and getting it within like six months of that time. And um, I manifested the money for the car in that short period of time because I wanted it. But the beautiful thing about that, that vehicle now is that she is a energetic match to me. She's a vibrational match to me. She makes me feel like the elevated version of myself that has power, that has strength, that has sexiness, you know, because she's such a beautiful car. But I wouldn't have known that if I didn't allow myself to experience it. Another beautiful example too, my dear friend, Anna, she told me she wanted a Tesla and um, she was in my mastermind, which is a very high level mastermind. She's a very successful business owner. And uh, she said she wanted a Tesla and um, she hadn't gotten it yet. And first of all, I was like, well, why haven't you got the Tesla? Uh, and then the next step was, okay, go test drive it. But she actually got a rental. So she actually rented a Tesla to experience it, to know what she wanted. And in that experience, she knew exactly which Tesla model she wanted. I don't want this one because it has this and it has that, but I want this one because it has this, this and that. And so we, we joke now that that was the rental and like now she's driving like the real one, the Tesla, the real want and the desire. So she knows exactly what she wants. But even with Malibu, you know, bringing that experience of living in Malibu closer to me now, I am taking steps to get as close to the manifestation as I possibly can. Not a lot of people are willing to do this, but this is something that I um, allow myself to do and I do it very intentionally. So I didn't just put Malibu, California on my vision board and then never experience it again. I actually put Malibu, California on my vision board, the type of house I wanna live, the type of furniture I wanna have in the house, the location and proximity to the water that I want. And then I started staying there. I started going there. I started renting different Airbnbs that have the same style of furniture that are on the same location and on the same beach that are like close to the same area that I love so much. But I had to go there to experience it. And I don't live in Malibu, California right now in my 3D physical world. I don't own a property there and have mail delivered to the address, but I'm a resident of Malibu, California. Like I have a gym there and a nail salon that I go to and I have a lash girl 
and I have my favorite restaurants and I have places that I go to run now to do my running. I'm training for a 10K. So I'm getting myself as close to the manifestation as I possibly can, knowing that the reality is inevitable. It is inevitable. And even if you can't physically get there, you can research it. So what, what's really cool, I did a retreat in Anguilla um, at the Four Seasons in Anguilla. And I had looked up that resort so many times. I looked at the rooms and the restaurants and the locations. Where am I going to film content? Where am I going to do this event? Where am I going to run this dinner? Where are we going to do the bonfire that when I actually got there, I felt like I'd been there. Like I knew it already. Like it was already natural to be there. And that's the experience that I want all of you to have is to allow yourself to be open to want for an experience you've never had, to dream from a place that you've never dreamed from before, and to allow yourself to be immersed in the feeling of the want and the wish being fulfilled. The other piece that is so incredibly powerful is allowing yourself to experience the desire that you want in a deep and profound way, to feel the feeling of the wish fulfilled. So I'll give you a beautiful example. I believe 100% without a shadow of a doubt that any idea held in the screen of the mind will manifest into the physical form by law, by law. And the closer you get to it, the more focused your attention is, the more controlled your imagination is, the more you see yourself there, the more likely it is to happen. But let's take it another step further. By actually putting yourself in the physical environment of the feeling of the wish fulfilled is where you will get closer to the manifestation and it to be more likely to happen. In a very, very intentional way, I have an inner circle. I have a group of individuals that work with me very, very closely. We mastermind, we have regular calls, and we have in-person days. And I curated an in-person day with these manifestation principles in mind. So what can I do to help my inner circle expand their awareness, be put into an environment that they desire, and to allow them to, to feel what it's like to be at a level of abundance and be in a level of abundance that they've never experienced before. So I was so grateful to have manifested the experience of masterminding in a $68 million mansion in the Bel Air Canyons. We spent an entire day in the home. And when they first walked into that home, I could feel that all of them felt like it was beyond what they could see for themselves. They were in awe, it was like, wow, I can't even imagine living here. What would it be like? I don't know. It was like this awe-inspiring, this is outside of my realm. I can't relate to it, was the feeling. They thought it was beautiful. They thought it was lovely. But we got to spend time and we started to eat meals in the house and we masterminded. I had them all journal in different parts of the house. They were on couches. Some of them were sitting outside on the outdoor furniture. One went swimming in the pool. Somebody had a shower in the bathroom downstairs. So I had them experience life in a $68 million home, not just walk through it, but to actually experience what it's like to live in it, to be it, to allow themselves to relate to it. So everybody left that day going, I can have this. This is available to me. Uh, what I said the first time I toured that house, I think I've been in that house three or four times now. The first time I toured it, I said, I'm open to this level of abundance because I knew any other thought would actually diminish it. Any other thought would, would make it like unrelatable. I wanted to relate. So I'm open to this level of abundance. But since that day, members of my masterminds have completely expanded their visions, their goals. We have some that are declaring that they're going to be billionaires, others, $100 million business owners. Um, some, heck, they even think they're going to be taking over the world. And we are seeing wins and transcendence and true quantum leaps, people that are making more money in 40 days than they made an entire year the year before. And this is what I mean by allowing yourself to want something, get as close as you can to the want, get into the physical environment, and then to move and act in faith towards the receivership of that want. These are all very, very powerful and important things. But there's one underlying assumption that I said at the beginning, and I want you to listen to what I'm saying. I have an assumption 
that every single thing I want, I will get. It is already done. So I'm not trying to manifest. It's already manifested. Even the name of this podcast, you know, we toyed around with like manifesting podcast, my manifesting life. But if I'm being completely honest, it's the moment that you realize that it's already manifested, that it's already done. Creation is already finished. So the place in which I speak to you today is from a place of already manifested what I desire. And that's why we named this podcast in the past tense because it's already happened, it's already done. And so the assumption that I have is I get everything I want. It's an expectation. What you assume will be your truth. What you expect will be what you observe. And knowing that will change the game. So if you don't know what you want, figure that out. And then change the belief to you know you're going to have it. You know you're going to experience it. I have absolute faith in the assumption And I have absolute fidelity to the belief that I will experience in the physical observed world any experience that I desire to have in my mind first and that I'm willing to hold the image of. So one thing I want us to understand as well that's really, really important is your ability to accept a belief of something will impact how quickly you manifest. So if I'm standing at the base of a mountain and I'm looking up at the top of the mountain and it looks really hard and it looks like a really long distance and I have no idea if I'm going to even make it up there, I'm not going to believe that I can necessarily do it right away. Or if I do, I'm going to be like, well, I'm going to try to climb the mountain today. So what I want to do is I want to make the want or the desire feel easy, feel hard, like to look like it's small, like it's a short mountain, like I don't have a long way to go because the subconscious mind will accept the belief of that faster. So I'm not sitting here today telling you I'm manifesting a billion dollars and I made 3,500 a month last month. Like I have climbed a ladder of belief to get to the belief that I can manifest billions. I had to manifest hundreds of thousands first millions first, and then now to get to the awareness of billions. So if you hear me talking about a $68 million mansion and manifesting billions, and right now you make $4,000 a month, your subconscious mind is going to be like, that's crazy. Like that's unrelatable. You're not going to be able to connect to it. So what I want you to do is I want you to start with a number that you can relate to, uh, a number that feels doable, but it's still exciting. It's still outside of the realm of possibility. I don't want you to manifest just like an additional thousand dollars a month, like manifest a 4X or a 10X. That's why I say to people all the time, it has to at least be a 4X, like four times more than what you're currently making right now. That's how I get you into the realm of infinite possibility. But it doesn't have to be a hundred times, a thousand times, because the mind isn't necessarily going to accept the belief of it as easily as it would a smaller, more manageable size want, dream, or desire for yourself. So you might not decide right now today that you're going to go, you know, put a Rolls Royce on your vision board. You might want to put like a Mercedes Benz for now first, you know, and that to me is how you accept smaller incremental beliefs first in the subconscious mind as you move up and you grow. But if the goal does not excite you at all, it means that it's not big enough. We want you to create a goal that is big enough, that it's exciting, but that scares you a little bit too. So uh, in the previous episode, uh, we were talking about me manifesting billions. It's exciting, but it's like, woo, you know, it gives me that excitement, but a little bit of that like, okay, this is uncomfortable feeling. That's where I really want you to be in your manifestations. But I mentioned the ladder of belief, and this is something that I teach in my millionaire program how important it is for each of us to climb a ladder of belief. And so as you are manifesting an elevated experience in your life, and let's say it's a specific thing, it's a level of business or it's a house or um, whatever that desire might be, I want you to understand that we all start at the same place and that place is a need place. So most often we say we want something because we think we need it. So I need more money because I have none in my bank account. I need a bigger house because we're crammed into this one. I need to find a man because I'm lonely. Like these are the things that most of the time we start is from that need place. My first goal in any of my courses and my programs to help you manifest what you want is to get you out of the need space. 
I want to get you into the want space. So when we want it, we no longer need it. So I don't need more money. I want more money. I don't need a man. I want a man. I don't need a new house. I want a new house. Vibrationally, that is a very, very different feeling. The need comes from lack and limitation, the awareness that I do not have, and the want comes from the awareness of I don't need it, but I would love it. And so those are two different ladders. The next place I want to get you to is from wanting it to believing that it is there, believing that it is possible, believing that it is available. When you believe for yourself that you can have that, you've now gone from wanting up into believing, but we're still not in the manifestation energy. If you believe something is possible, it means you don't know it's already done. It's already there. So I want to move you then. So this is what I do in my millionaire program. I want to move you up to knowing. To believe something is a very different energy to know something. You don't have to tell yourself you believe something when you know something. You know, I watched this uh, TikTok and I can't remember the creator, so my apologies for not saying that, but he said something along the lines of like, you know, I park my car in a parking lot at the mall and you ask me where I parked. If I say to you, I believe I parked it in the parking lot, I'm not so sure but if I say I parked it in the parking lot, I know I parked it in the parking lot. That's the difference between the believe and the no energy. So even I started this podcast episode by saying, I can manifest everything that I want. Every single thing that I write down, I manifest. That is a knowing. That is an assumption deep within my subconscious mind now. And I created that. I convinced myself of that. And we do that through affirmations. We do that through auto-suggestion. We do that through journaling. We do that by regulating our thoughts and regulating our emotions. And we do that through this beautiful work of manifestation. Spirituality meets personal growth and development. But to get yourself to that place where it's okay to want something, you guys, like why do we not think that it's okay to want you wanting more out of your life helps other people to get more out of their life. I have people say to me every single day, Kathleen, you inspire me to want more. So my wanting for more and going after it is inspiring other people to do the same. And James Allen says, and as a man thinketh that the dreamers are the ones that change the world. And so your ability to dream bigger, to go after that, to want more shows other people in this world that it's available for them too. And this is how we make a difference. This is how we make an impact in this world. So we have got to decide what it is that we want, make a decision to move towards it, believe that it's available and possible for you, and then climb that ladder of belief to the point where you know that it is right Right here waiting for you and the next thing you know you'll be living in your wish fulfilled you'll be living in the end and these are the messages that I get from my clients all the time Kathleen I am living in my end result you told me that I would live here and here I am living it and one of my uh, beautiful one-on-one -on -one clients she's the author of hello universe it's me Deepika and she calls it wonderment she is living in her end results and she is living in wonderment. And I think that is such a beautiful word to describe the power behind this work and the power of our own mind and our own thinking. So I will wrap this up by saying that the limit does not exist. <laughs>